Hello, I'm Julie Hendricks with CPM. I'm an applications engineer on the feed and industrial team. And so if you have any problems with um, your equipment, uh, we help you with troubleshooting as well as new equipment startups and just supporting the sales team. And so today we're going to focus on setting and making sure that the wipers and deflectors are set correctly on your pellet mill. And so on each pellet mill, uh, we recommend having at least one deflector on the top. Uh, depending on the application and use of an enforcer, you may have one on the bottom as well. Uh, if you have any questions about that, please contact us. But for the deflectors, the job, the purpose of them is to remove any product that is built up on the feed cone and uh, feed it to the rolls and so we're able to make a pellet. And we want the clearance set on the deflectors to be about one quarter of an inch. And we can adjust that clearance by adjusting these two bolts. So there is a, the deflector is slotted and so we can move this up and down over to set it to where we need to. Uh, the wipers are in the back. There is two wipers. There are two wipers, um, one on the top and one on the bottom. And we want those to be about 1 16th of an inch clearance or a business card. Uh, the purpose of the wipers is to remove any product that's built up on the quill flange as well as keep product from entering into the main shaft seal. Um, but, and then also in turn, those also make sure that the rolls are fed with the product and it's not on that quill flange. Uh, and so then we also adjust those with the bolts in the back. Here we can see uh, there's two bolts on each one on this pellet mill. We'll adjust those to get within the 1 16th or the business card. And uh, once again, if you have any problems or questions about that, just please call us, contact us, and we'll be able to help you out. Special thing to note is that the deflector quantity and position setting of them uh, depends on the application as well as the use of an enforcer. Uh, but if you have any other questions, uh, problems, concerns, please call us and we'll be able to help you out. Thank you.